Hi friends, in this session, I am going to explain about Scheduled Trigger in Azure Data Factory. This is one of important concept in Azure Data Factory real-time environment. So if you are watching first time my video, please subscribe my channel and also like my channel and also share with your friends. Why? Because in this channel, I will provide complete training of Azure Data Factory from beginning level to advanced level and also interview questions, real-time project explanation with scenario based, monthly updates, much more updated in this channel. So if you follow my classes from class 1, you will definitely will get the job and also easily survive in the real-time environment. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn about how to schedule a trigger in the Azure Data Factory. Okay. Go to portal.azure.com. Okay. If anybody watching first time my video, I strongly recommend please... Uh, Check my previous videos, okay? Find my channel in the YouTube. What you have to search? You can search like uh, Power BI real-time, or else Azure Data Factory real-time, anything, okay? So here you can see the playlist. Category-wise, you can check it, okay? This is Azure Data Factory. This is SSIS, this is SSIS, and uh, remaining are Power BI, okay? So if you watch my previous videos, it is very easy to understand this concept, okay? So just go to the storage account JB1. So inside that uh, we already created in previous class one copy activity, right? So container JB, see here output folder is there and sync is there. So in the input folder, there is a file called input file.txt, same file we extracted we done copy in the sync folder with a different name different name right so we'll do one thing we can remove this delete this also blob also can be do refresh yeah see now you can able to see only input folder so how we achieved input folder to sync or any output folder like that we can copy and we can uh, place the file how it is possible it is possible with the pipeline run right so go to adf.azure.com yeah adfjb this is my azure data factory inside azure data factory we can create a number of pipelines so pipeline one is there see here pipeline is there so there is no trigger so is it validated if you want to validate you can just validate our pipeline has been validated so already we have the data sets also okay so there is no issue here so now if you click here if you click here debug button it will run the pipeline and it will copy the folder right here it will copy that is manual process so in the schedule trigger what we are going to do is so we can add see here there is a add trigger button if you click here see here trigger now means it is a on demand uh, uh, trigger uh, automatically it will execute if you click here it is on demand trigger will be fire okay so if you want to create any new trigger then you have to go for uh, new or edit okay so go to new trigger so choose trigger we don't have any we have trigger one also okay so or else we can create a new trigger also fine trigger two okay see here trigger two okay see here you can able to see schedule so what is the trigger type my trigger type is schedule one so when i want to start my trigger so from now onwards i want to start my trigger okay time zone we have many time zones sir. so based on your client requirement you can do that for example you want to go for indian time you can search like uh, chennai kolkata mumbai new delhi yes so this is every one time okay every one minute see here every recurrence means every one minute you can choose here interval as well so here hours minutes days and uh, weeks and months as well right so for example i want to trigger every minute so just select minute and um, start trigger so you want to make any changes see here uh, there is another option 
is there specify and end date so if you want to stop this trigger if you want to put some date from this date to this date i want to stop the trigger that is also possible if you don't want to stop then you don't select this okay you just click on okay okay you just publish this once you publish then only changes will affect okay just publishing i told you right single pipeline pipeline uh, we can use many triggers it is a many to many re relationship triggers and pipelines in one pipeline we can create a number of triggers okay now see here just wait for one minute it will automatically trigger just check it refresh here whether it is done or not yes see here so i did not run uh, this uh, pipeline right so if you want to run what we have to do you have to click on debug and also i did not any run any on demand right so automatically it is created sync see here end dot txt if you want to see confirm the data check the data here view and edit so it, this is my sync folder right so now go to your input folder same information is there or not yeah you can click there or you can click here and view and edit yeah same information is there right okay right so in this way automatically we can schedule the triggers so whenever trigger fire automatically whatever you perform the operations auto automatically it will be done okay so you don't need to do anything manually okay that is the benefit of scheduled trigger okay thank you for watching my video okay in next video we are going to discuss about another trigger type okay tumbling window trigger okay thank you for watching my video okay if anybody wants uh, real time training on power bi sql server or ssis or ssis or azure data factory you can email to this email or also you can call to this mobile number my whatsapp number also same